Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you a very short uh, film of the kit that I've put together for my next field trip, which uh, will be a day camp, if not an overnighter. I did promise to show you a camouflage setup. So I've got all the kit together. This could either be a high altitude or, or sort of say low altitude uh, bug out or uh, simply a demonstration on concealment in a forest. So let's just run through the, the kit, shall we? The weight of this Bergen, loaded, fully loaded for me, works out 2.4 uh, stone, which is 18 pounds. That's almost 2.5 uh, stone, uh, 18 pounds. So it's still quite light, and it's got everything, including water and fuel. Uh, and uh, the only thing missing is some dried food, which would weigh just a few ounces. So, you know, we'll talk about pasta, rice, and uh, whatever else I get my hands on, it would be quite lightweight uh, for cooking. So, even at that, I expect the total weight uh, to be around about 19 to 20 pounds, which is pretty good, actually, uh, considering that it's carrying absolutely everything. So, let's just run through it, shall we? So, on the outside, we have a luxury, which is... The basher poles. You don't need them because trees do the job. But, you know, I thought if it was going to be a low altitude uh, bug out situation, I would need the poles for comfort. However, on the top, uh, as usual, uh, the most important item of the exhibition would be camera, torch, and first aid kit there. Uh, immediately underneath, Uh, for quick access, waterproofs, green waterproof trousers, camo, Gore-Tex, virtually 80 to 100% waterproof, uh, camo army jacket, army scarf, army hat, which turns into balaclava, and uh, small bit of water there and then I'll bring this down so it's easier for me to unload it on the front pouch this time I brought with me a cook system I'll show you what's inside this cook system it's very compact inside I have uh, fuel if I cannot light the gel cubes and I've got about four gel cubes inside here, two along the side, that's six and one here, seven. So that'll give about, uh, you know, six brew-ups or five brew-ups and cooks. Spoon, coffee and foldable mug, folding mug, all contained inside here. I'd use this to cook and this as a lid. So even if I took along some, some casserole, I could cook the casserole in this section. All very compact. Military. And then back to the Bergen. Inside the cook pouch, of course, windshield and base, so there's no chance of catching fire uh, to the terrain wherever I end up. Inside the Bergen, we have the Army Basher. Quite a heavy duty one, this. Not the lightest of kits, but really a nice quality gear. Uh, an inflatable mat. Very small ground sheet, which you've seen many times, and inside here the camouflage uh, cover netting to go over the basher, and of course insulation and spare clothes, complete set of spare clothes and fleece, pegs and the bungees, and inside here the sleeping bag and the baby bag compressed. But that is the whole lot of the kit. Oops, power rope, caught in case any extra to put up the camel cover. So that's the, the Bergen completely and utterly uh, full up. There's still room for other pieces of kit, but that much on the top if I compress it further. So that's enough room for, for food. Uh, and I would carry lightweight food, as I say, dehydrated food, uh, and just enough for the uh, a one or two day trip. 
So overall, I think that's a pretty light setup. And of course, I forgot to mention, if I take my beagle hand along, uh, I'll be taking with me her sleeping bag as well. And she shares the, the, the shelter with me. So we have our own sleeping bag and her sleeping bag wrapped up. And we're just two hobos in the middle of nowhere, enjoying ourselves. So stay tuned, or should I say, watch this space. And I look forward to seeing you in the next week or so when I get around to getting out into the forest or onto low altitude. Until then, take care. Goodbye from me. Harry, out.